Hello and welcome to the 2019 Fall Roundup Parade in North St. Paul. I'm Joe Cullen and this year I'm once again joined by Jay Humsey for the parade. Jay, thanks so much for uh, lending us your services again. It's an honor to be here, as always, Joe. I know we've done this together the last uh, few years. I think this is our third year together and our station has been broadcasting this parade for a number of years. We're here in downtown North St. Paul on a beautiful night here in uh, mid-September. Have a great parade ahead of us, so we're excited. There's lots of great entrants. We have a nice uh, crowd on hand, lots of families and kids and residents coming out to check out the parade. Is, is there anything in particular you're excited for this year at the parade? Uh, well, I always enjoy the bands. I don't know, the uh, the Winter Carnival, I think they're at the end of the parade route this year, but uh, it's, it's all good. It's all, it's a fun mixture of uh, floats and groups and yeah it's, and it, it's nice too time. they have a lot of uh, you know they even have marching band i know we got the north high marching band will be coming up soon and uh, looks like we're already getting going here we're starting things off with the north st paul police escort vehicle which is an es as an escort to the uh, national colors We're located close to the uh, North St. Paul Police Department here, not too far from City Hall. Looks like we have the uh, Honor Guard behind them. Oh, yes. Here, uh, here's the American Legion Post 39 Honor Guard. Uh, Post 39 has been serving veterans, their families, and the community since 1919. The Post 39 Color Guard contains veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Persian Gulf, Iraq, and Afghanistan. The honor is an important mission of this post rendering honor at funerals of veterans, marching in parades, and presenting the colors at various events. Yeah, it's always an important way to start any parade. Absolutely. A little more meaningful to me now that my son's in the Air Force. Oh, <laughs> definitely. people here uh, saluting our veterans. We also have members from the uh, North St. Paul Veterans Park Committee. Uh, they're joined by canine service dogs and they'd like to remind you that the uh, History of Veterans Park book is available in booklet form at North St. Paul City Hall. It's a complimentary gift to all who purchased a paper in Veterans Park. Extra copies are also available for a $5 donation to the Veterans Park Incorporated Fund. Right behind them is the Air Force Junior or AFJRR2C, the four-year program for high school students taught by retired Air Force officers and non-commissioned officers. This program provides leadership and citizenship training to cadets across the U.S., its territories, and overseas locations. It's not a recruiting program. It imposes no obligation to serve in the military upon graduation. And we also have the uh, North St. Paul Police Department. They are committed to crime prevention programs. A North St. Paul officer is assigned to North High School daily and also makes regular visits to other schools in North St. Paul. The department participates in MNO, the Torch Run, Neighborhood Watch, Crime Prevention, Youth Diversion Program, and more. You can go to the North St. Paul Police Department website for events and opportunities. And right behind them is the fire department, a, a paid per call department. The North St. Paul Fire Department is currently accepting applications for firefighters. Last year, the department responded to 1,300 calls, nearly four calls per day. And it, the department hosts their annual Booyah at Casey Lake Park soon. Mm, that sounds good. <laughs> Oh, we're already receiving gifts here from right. city we're staff and the fire department being generous. Work. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> I have that feeling we'll do all right as the <laughs> night progresses. And the uh, fire department is also close by to where we're at. Um, we're here uh, on kind of the main street here in North St. Paul, 7th Street. We're kind of by uh, right near the post office is where we're set up. I know the parade travels down the rest of this road. Uh, 
have quite a few uh, fire trucks. I know it's here. We'll be talking more in a minute or two here as we um, are talking over some of the sirens and some of the loud noises here. Just to remind you, you are watching the North St. Paul 2019 Fall Roundup Parade here on SCC Community. Channel 19. You can also watch it in high definition on channel 801. There's a sign talking about the booyah that we were talking about. So besides the uh, fire department, also have a ambulance from Lakeview Hospital. Yeah, there's a long, long entry there. With Help there aren't any fires while the parade's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Got everybody here. Well, hopefully you're able to hear me now, and hopefully uh, we're still going to have a little bit of noise here as we're going to have the um, band to talk over. But we do have the uh, Grand Marshal of the parade, Terry Furlong, accompanied by his amazing wife, Sandra. Mayor Furlong has long held an affinity for giving back to the community. Over the years, Ter Terry Furlong has participated in numerous community events, donated and volunteered toward community betterment projects. Today, we celebrate Mr. Furlong for his continued public service, most recently as our mayor in North St. Paul. And as you probably hear, right behind them, the Mo Polar Marching Band. After multiple years of hibernation, the North High School Parlor Marching Band is back under the direction of Mr. Aaron Hammerman and the street command of drum majors Elise Floor and Madison Kubrick. Please welcome 100 of the finest instrumentalists that North High has to offer. They sound good. They do sound great. We have a, uh, it's like a school bus. <laughs> and I think I say this in every parade that I'm in or that we broadcast, but I'm jealous of the kids these days. They get to wear, these. this group is wearing Hawaiian shirts. My day, we had to wear big uh, polyester uniforms, but. Now we have the uh, Northern Lights Girl Scouts. Northern Lights Service Unit covers most of the Girl Scout troops in the uh, North St. Paul Maplewood School District. Members are girls from kindergarten to seniors in high school. Girl Scouting builds girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. And here come the Boy Scouts. Troop 188 meets at North Presbyterian Church Mondays at 6.30 p.m. Celebrates scouting, a tradition for over 100 years. Scouting helps boys of all ages learn new skills, enjoy the outdoors, engage their community through service, develop and grow to be prepared for life. Contact North Presbyterian Church if you'd like to join. I believe they may also admit girls, I'm not sure. <laughs> And behind them, we have the Old National Bank. They are proud to serve the North St. Paul community. For eight consecutive years, Old National has been named one of the world's most ethical companies by the Ethisphere Institute. Committed to helping communities and businesses grow and prosper for 85 years, stop by Old National to learn more. 
Oh, and here come the clowns. The first clown group, uh, the St. Paul Clown Club, formed in 1946. It is the oldest operating clown club in the United States, sharing smiles and laughter in parades and events throughout Minnesota. I've seen of, these bozos before. <laughs> a lot of clowning around tonight. That's right. Well, luckily, these clowns don't look too scary. And <laughs> here we have the Bakken Wood Hair Studio celebrating 11 years in downtown North St. Paul. Recipients of Lily News's Reader's Choice Awards, Maura, Elizabeth, and Aaron are master stylists and creative partners who specialize in you. Check out their latest styles at Bakken Wood on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, or visit their website at BakkenWood.com. And I understand you're you're familiar with Bakkenwood? Yes, uh, my wife is the Bakken in Bakkenwood. Yes, we're, and um, Elizabeth is the uh, one who organizes this parade every year. So she does a great uh, job. Here we have the North St. Paul Historical Society. Uh, society members riding in three vintage cars. The museum is located at 2666 7th Avenue free and open to the public on Fridays and Saturdays. And if you enjoy vintage cars, come down for the last car show tomorrow night in North St. Paul, the Car Cruisers. Uh, it's been a great summer of every Friday night. They've been doing it for a couple of months here, and tomorrow's the last one. It looks like the weather should be good for it. Oh, great. Yeah, it's always a fun time. Yeah. Yeah, amazing how quickly the summer has flown by. Seems like things like that just started, and now a lot of that's wrapping up. Well, it feels like summer came back on us now. I yeah. We had a really? cold spell there, and I guess it's going to change again this weekend, but we'll really, enjoy it while we have it. And really lucky tonight, as you can see, we're showing you lots of folks coming out here tonight. Um, beautiful weather. Just never know. I think most years we've lucked out the weather, but it's um, actually still almost, almost 80 degrees. And um, once again, I'm Joe Gorgeous. Cullen with uh, Jay Humsey. We're proud to bring you coverage tonight of the 2019 Fall Roundup Parade here on Suburban Community Channels. We've been doing this for Paul a number tradition. of years. Yeah, North St. Paul tradition. And so there's, you know, other stuff going on here tonight, too. I can smell some of the great food. Mini donuts. And see a lot of people walking around with corn dogs. So no shortage of food and root beer floats. Nothing wrong with that. Want to remind you too, as you're tuning in here, if you're looking for other great programming on our channel, uh, check out Inside Healthcare. Host Jody Ritaka brings you this monthly show, providing tips and up-to-date information on various healthcare issues. This program has aired on SEC for 13 years and airs at other access centers in the Twin Cities. It airs every Wednesday and Thursday at 6.30 p.m., all on Channel 19 or in HD on Channel 801. And that's an award-winning program, so make sure you check out Inside Healthcare. A little gap here now in the parade, but lots more uh, excitement on the way. Yeah, we really have been lucky the last three years. I think the weather's been phenomenal for this parade. I've, there have been a couple of rainouts over the over the years, but uh, I know once years ago uh, it kind of was pouring rain during it, and they they kept it on, and we even covered it. Normally we wouldn't with the equipment, but I think everything was already set up. Luckily, uh, I think I was hosting that year with Paul Anderson. Speaking of the historical society, and we were kind of underneath something, so we didn't get wet, but. I don't think our crew had the greatest time that year. I'm sure they enjoy it much more nights like this. <laughs> I was I was riding in a drive, driving a, a truck that year in, for my wife's business, but I didn't get wet, but the rest of them did. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I just mentioned the name Paul Anderson. He's uh, the host of a show on our, our channel, uh, North St. Paul Notes. It's a monthly show that uh, Paul Anderson interviews uh, city leaders and interesting residents and business owners here in the North St. Paul area. And you can check that out on scctv.org. You can see the latest episode and also a schedule of when that airs. That airs on uh, Channel 16, which is our government channel. Paul's been hosting that for a number of years. 
He's a wonderful gentleman. I've had the pleasure of meeting him. Yeah, he really is. He's um, the show was originally hosted by Mayor Bill Sandberg for a number of years, pretty much right up until um, he passed away, and then Paul was gracious to take over and has been uh, volunteering his time to do that for a number of years now. Yeah, it looks like we're getting back to the action here in the parade with the World Around Us Child Care. They are proud to serve children six weeks to 12 years old, building the early foundation needed for success later in school life. Again, this is the annual fall roundup parade here in uh, downtown North St. Paul. It's kind of fun to have a parade in the fall. I know a lot of communities uh, have them in the summer. It's nice to have this feel, and it's kind of fun because it kind of reminds you how North St. Paul, uh, even though it's a Twin City suburb, still kind of has that small town feel. And I know uh, you see a lot of people, you know, neighbors running into neighbors and that type of thing out here. I, I love the, the feel of this parade. It's just, this the, the town uh, reminds me very much of communities I grew up in in Iowa many years ago. But uh, here we have the North High School dance team uh, walking with dancers in K through five who are members of the North High School dance camp, and they're showing off some of their moves there. I imagine the. Uh... Either you or I could probably pull off some of those kicks if, <laughs> if necessary. I was going to say, I get a kick out of this every year <laughs> when I see them. But, you know. I think I'm long past the days where I, if I ever could do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so too. I don't know that there ever was a day I could do that, but certainly not now. Is I'd, I'd pull something for sure. <laughs> but good for them. Yeah. And behind them, we have Ramsey County Commissioner Victoria Reinhardt. She's working hard and getting results. Commissioner Reinhardt is a nationally recognized leader honored to serve White Bear Lake, Maplewood, North St. Paul, and the Hillcrest neighborhood. Here comes the Johnson Como North St. Paul Youth Hockey Association. Hockey season is about to be upon us. I think sometimes I feel like it never really goes away in Minnesota. Yeah. But I'm sure the parents probably feel that way too. Right. I'm sure there's yeah. a lot of practicing and time that. Future NHL players suit. here, perhaps. You never know. That's right. You never know. That's right. That's happened before. Uh, Brett oh, Hedekin sure. brought home the Stanley Cup here uh, years ago. That's right. They had a big ceremony, and um, he was a local kid who played for North High. We have the SMW Credit Union, joined by the North High cheer team. SMW Credit Union has served the area for over 60 years. Everything the big banks have with care and a helping hand. And you probably heard the bagpipes behind them. Uh, the Twin Cities Metro Pipe Band teaching and performing traditional Scottish bagpipe and drum music, as well as history and culture, promoting the Great Highland Bagpipe and the Great Highland Snare, and celebrating 20 years this year. Yeah, They're not quite in view yet. But yeah, that must have been the uh, North High Cheer team that's walking along with SMW Credit Union. But as Jay mentioned, you can, uh, I'm sure, hear the uh, the pipe band. <laughs> Here they come. There they are. And behind the uh, pipe band, we have the Cowern Elementary PTG. The Cowern Parent-Teacher Group works to support the students and staff at Cowern Elementary School in North St. Paul. Students and staff love getting out of the community and having fun while learning. 
preparing today's students for tomorrow. This is always a fun entry, the Jomar Farms Mini Donkeys and Mini Covered Wagon from Marina and St. Croix. The wagon is made by the Amish in southern Minnesota. Did you hear about the uh, Amish woman that was divorcing her husband? Uh, he, he was driving her buggy. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking before the parade, a couple of our crew members, we were hoping you were going to come armed with some puns and jokes. And Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I, I can't always... help it, I have a pundititis. <laughs> <laughs> I always appreciate a good pun. <laughs> But here we have well, the. Either uh, love them or you hate them. I hope. I don't have any puns about Lutherans, but we do have the uh, Christ Lutheran School here. <laughs> Kids, parents, and teachers from Christ Lutheran School are showing their school spirit. Christ Lutheran began in North St. Paul in 1887, and the school came in 1976. The school offers affordable Christian education, individual attention, sports, music, high quality academic opportunities for preschool through eighth grade. Oh, got a uh, dancing Spider-Man Spider there. Spider-Man. Spider-Man in a scooter. I've never seen that. <laughs> connected to the World Wide Web, I hear, but... Ah. So. <laughs> okay, here's the North Hudson Pepper Fest royalty for 2020, it says. I, I'm not sure if that's right. Uh, the king is Sean Kaler. The queen is Lauren Loken. Princess is Peyton Pachacek. Uh, another princess, Keegan Foster. And another one, Megan O'Brien. Uh, the North... Hudson Pepper Festival is the little village celebration with a big Italian flavor. Pepperfest celebrates its strong Italian heritage with a three-day festival that raises money for the community. It began in 1954 to raise money to build an elementary school and was put on by a group of neighbors. Highlights include the Grand Day Parade, homemade Italian food, including spaghetti, meatballs, hot Italian sandwiches, ravioli, and stuffed peppers. There's also a social garden, bingo, a cooking contest, Recipes must include peppers, a carnival, nightly dances, and more. We also have several eating contests that include championship spaghetti eating and championship pepper eating. Each year, the Pepper Festival gives most of its earnings back to the community. Various nonprofit organizations and or groups volunteer their time during and following Pepper Fest weekend. They're rewarded for their wonderful volunteer efforts after the festival. Pepper Festival also gives money each year to other designated beneficiaries that have submitted a grant request. The next 2021 will be held August 21st to 23rd. Join us for some hot fun in the summer. And coming up behind them, we have Merrick Adult Day Services. ADS clients are engaged as citizens of North St. Paul through their own commerce, volunteerism, and participation in community activities. Marching in the parade today are clients and staff. And the Church of St. Peter founded in North St. Paul in 1888, celebrating over 130 years. Come celebrate their fall festival on September 21st and 2nd for chicken dinner, dueling guitars, food truck, Vikings tailgate, cornhole tourney, and more. Learn all about the events and activities coming at churchofstpeternsp.org. Thank you. Lots of Thank you. Yeah, they just gave us a flyer about the festival. Looks like a lot going on. Chicken dinner, dueling guitar show, food truck, meat raffle. Meat raffle. Here we I have love that song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Graphic traffic, putting your brands in motion for 27 years. Graphic Traffic LLC is located in North St. Paul, providing screen printing, embroidery promo items, and in-house graphics. Call Graphic Traffic at 
Presentation School here, part of the community for over 70 years. Uh, quality education for preschool to eighth grade. I also see um, there's some clowns. We got the 3M Clown Club, established in 1968 by employees of 3M who like to have fun. They enjoy putting smiles on the many faces they meet for 50 years. They participate in parties, benefits, parades, nursing homes, and grand openings. And I, I heard that one of these clowns was planning on retiring soon and handing the business over to their son, but the son said, I don't know, Dad. Those are big shoes to fill. <laughs> See, I, I had that all prepared, and well then things got a little out of order. I'm like, ah, oh, there's not even any clowns. My, my joke's going to go to waste, but... Luckily, they were there. In the Fireworks Special Olympics, uh, this team has athletes ages 8 to 56 that compete in track and field, bocce ball, flag football, thank you, bowling, and poly hockey. Our athletes are from North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oakdale, White Bear Lake, Roseville, and St. Paul. That's a wonderful organization that yes. provides some great, great sports for some great uh, kids and adults. We have uh, Richardson Elementary, and representing Richardson Elementary are the teachers, parents, caregivers, and staff walking as a community to show Penguin pride. Uh, here we have, thank you, more candy. <laughs> thank you very much. Park Dental, Maplewood. Uh, team members are excited to be part of the Fall Roundup Parade. Park Dental for all ages provides everything from cleaning to cosmetic dentistry. Located in the St. John's Hospital Medical Building on Beam Avenue in Maplewood. Discover the park difference. Visit parkdental.com. You know, I used to date a dentist, actually. And, uh, yeah, it's it's just, very it, fulfilling. <laughs> it didn't work out, though. The, the conversations were like pulling teeth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, now, now I'm getting, as my wife would say, if she was watching this, she'd say, okay, now you get carried away, Joe. That's... Of course, you know what time it is when it's time to go to the dentist, uh, 2.30. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we have Boogie for Jesus, a dance ministry with a party atmosphere. Founder Warren is a rapper and performs as four different characters. The Charismatic, the Godinator, the Entertainer, and God's Pitbull. Lorvin takes Let's popular go. music, cleans up the lyrics, and gives them a great message. Find out more at boogieforjesus.com. And here is right behind Lorvin is the Custom Remodelers Incorporated, a family-owned business proudly serving Minnesota and Western Wisconsin for the past 29 years. Free estimates, specializing in siding, windows, roofing, and gutters. We have the uh, West St. Paul Royalty celebrating West St. Paul Days, which uh, takes place the third weekend in May. We have Princesses Sabrina and Celia, Junior Miss Kendall, and Little Misses Mio Tupman and Sanaya. Followed by the four North St. Paul entry. Not quite sure what to. Yeah, must be a new entrant. That's so, so we've been having our. But we'll, we'll just assume that they're not against North That's St. Right. Paul. Who can be against North St. Paul? <laughs> That's a good valid point. It's always hard to. Uh, these are all probably. Uh, L Lorvin, the uh, Boogie for Jesus, is a tough act to follow, so I'm sure That's right. it's tough being the few right behind him. But <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to have him back in the parade. I know he, uh, I think, was, wasn't here last year. but Quite the uh, entertainer. That's right. Looks like we're having another gap here. Another little bit of break, and once again, if you're just tuning in, you are watching the 2019 Fall Roundup Parade with your hosts. I'm Joe Cullen, along with Jay Humsey. And I uh, want to remind you that, um, once again, there is a show called North St. Paul Notes that you can tune into. It's a monthly program that showcases city staff, 
business leaders, and local residents. Tune in to Local Channel 16 every month to find out what's happening in your town. So I imagine, uh, you know, parade uh, like this takes a lot of work. As you mentioned, uh, Elizabeth Colbeck, uh, who works by day at Bakkenwood uh, Studio, has been the uh, volunteer parade coordinator for a number of years now. And this isn't something that you just uh, throw together at the last minute. I'm sure there's no, months and months of probably a year-long thing. Of, uh, lots of prep involved. And she used to be involved with the North St. Paul Holiday Hop, but I believe she's as well. But I mean, she's passed the reins for that. But... It's also a fun event coming up in December in the community. I want to remind folks, too, uh, some other great programming on our channels on uh, SEC Government Channel 16. Lake Area Beat is a monthly cable show that features public safety information about the White Bear Lake Police and Fire Departments. And again, if you go to secTV.org, you'll find information about all the great programs on here for the communities we serve. We're under the umbrella of the Ramsey Washington Suburban Cable Commission, and that includes uh, 10 communities, including North St. Paul. That's why we're here today. We do a lot of programming with them, uh, such as this parade, North St. Paul notes, um, the city council meetings. And here we have True Stone Financial uh, Credit Union of Oakdale. It all began with a few teachers and a dream. Back in 1939, eight Minneapolis teachers decided to take control of their own financial security. They formed the Minneapolis Federation of Teachers Credit Union. Over the years, the credit union has endured name changes, added field of memberships, and expanded across the Midwest. Looks like the uh, people in attendance, especially the kids here today, are not going to go home empty-handed. We've seen quite a few of the Same parade the entrants handing out candy and yep. other I goodies. The Vulcans have already gotten a couple of those. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed a young man riding the uh, bike with this group. He had a first. I was like, why does he have a mustache? But uh, <laughs> it's like the Vulcans gave Vulcans that to are him. Up to their old tricks. <laughs> Kind of in the last uh, last stages of the parade. We still have a little bit to go here, but uh, here we have, well, that's still True Stone, as you mentioned, the uh, credit union. On here behind them, uh, of course, I knew it would probably end up, I get the one that's a little hard to pronounce, but luckily I do have a phonetic spelling here. The uh -huh. Spielmannzug. Minnesota's official German carnival group based in the Twin Cities. In Europe, carnival has been celebrated for centuries and originated as a mocking of royalty. Spielmann Zug crowns its prins November 11th and continues with Crazy Hat Night, Weberschnott, hopefully I said that right, women rule, and a costume ball filled with music and satire. For more information, find them on Facebook if you can spell Spielmannzug. I like it. <laughs> so S-P-I-E-L-M-A-N-N-Z-U-G. If you search that on uh, Facebook, you'll find out more information on that fun event, <laughs> November 11th. Here we have uh, Cairo Way. This chiropractic office located in the former community center of North St. Paul is convenient and affordable care for a higher quality of life. Look them up at CairoWay.com. Yeah, they, they always crack me up. Although, as I have learned uh, from other chiropractors, um, if you have a pin in that, go see them, right? Yeah, they, they actually, I, I, when you say crack them up, I think they like adjustment better. But, <laughs> right. but one good thing about them, they'll always have your back. <laughs> and we have um, St. Mark's, St. Mark's Lutheran Church, serving North St. Paul for 130 years bringing Jesus to people and people to him through excellent worship, education, and relationships. I believe that's Candy from the city council. Yep, Candy there. Peterson from the yep. uh, North St. Paul, longtime North St. Paul city council member. She also served a number of years as one of the commissioners for our Ramsey Washington Suburban Cable Commission. It's basically our board of directors. She was ah. the North St. Paul rep for many years. Very active in the city and as you mentioned, St. Mark's been around for a really long time. 
130 years in North St. Paul. Here we have the uh, North St. Paul Northern Lights Show Choir and Theater. Uh, shout out to Brian there, Brian Ruppy, uh, joined by members of North High's Fall Musical Spam a Lot. Pump it up and celebrate 23 years of entertainment and competitions with North High School's Northern Lights Show Choir. And I've been informed they will be performing at the Statue of Liberty in March. Oh, wow. Good luck to them. I think that would speak to uh, showing that they must be a pretty talented group of uh, of youngsters if they can perform in Statue of Liberty. I it's very exciting. For don't imagine they let just anybody do that. So congratulations no. to them. They wouldn't let me do that, I'm sure. No, I, I haven't been asked yet. Although I did hear you did some karaoke recently. So who knows? Maybe somebody hears you doing that. You might find yourself in the show choir. People pay me not to sing usually. <laughs> And behind them, we have the North Metro Flex Academy right here in historic North St. Paul. A well-designed, thoughtful, instructional model. It's imperative to achieve the school's goals. The basis of North Metro Flex Academy's K-6 through instructional model includes four principles, academic excellence, individualized learning, safe environment and caring staff, and accessible to all. Once again, that's the North Metro Flex Academy a free charter school here in North St. Paul. Okay, bend over backwards to please. <laughs> They're well represented this year in the parade. They a lot of people walking for them, as well as a uh, pickup coming up here with some balloons attached. So it's great to see the kids having a good time, both the ones in the parade and the ones on the receiving end of all the candy. Yep. What would a parade be without candy? I guess that's, and that's why the dentists like to sponsor this too, <laughs> I'm sure. That's true. <laughs> I know Park Dental was handing out toothbrushes, right. and I'm not sure if they're giving us a hint. They gave us a couple, but they gave uh, us the brush. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we can choose from. Uh, you can have the purple. I was gonna say we can fight over <laughs> who gets purple and who gets pink. The uh, Apollo Heating and Air Conditioning uh, celebrating. Uh, oh, they're coming along here. That's the last of the North Metro Flex. Here we have Apollo Heating and Air Conditioning uh, celebrating nearly 40 years. It's showing their excitement in this year's Fall Roundup Parade. It's proud to serve the community with professional 24-7 service and, and North, Nate certified technicians. Visit at callapollo.com or 651-770-0603 and find out why they are voted number one in heating and air. They have a fun little vehicle here that you can kind of see in our shot. I don't think uh, budget towing is in the parade this year. They, uh, what was the name of the monkey that passed away? Oh, that was the, that's right, yeah. Last year, I think they... It's a noted absence in the yeah. parade. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. We have a line here of the uh, Apollo fleet. Yes, they have quite a few vehicles. I don't remember that from last year. Maybe. And I'll just throw in another uh, quick plug while we're still waiting here for Northeast Journal. It's an award-winning monthly show hosted by Yours truly, and uh, this show features news and information about the northeast suburbs of Ramsey and Washington counties in Minnesota. Another program that you can find here on SEC, uh, actually on SEC Government Channel 16. You're currently watching SEC Community Channel 19. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, we just got an incoming candy. Yeah, we got a lot of candy. We might have to throw some to the uh, kids when we're done here. That's we got, right. Uh, I think so. Quite a, a surplus here. <laughs> We are getting towards the end, which 
It's the, uh, the only reason it's probably a good thing we're getting towards the end, the sun is kind of going down on us here quickly, but luckily we still have some light. Uh, here we have the uh, Ramsey County Sheriff's Office Water Patrol. They're responsible for law enforcement, safety instruction, and promotion of safe boating and riding habits on the county's lakes, rivers, and trails. And you just saw one of their boats right there. Yeah. Good reminder that uh, the same laws apply on the, on the water as do on the roads. So. That's right. Uh, here comes the Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation Fright Farm, located in Maplewood. A legendary haunted house horror experience. Frequently named best and scariest Halloween attraction in the state. Open every October this year. The horror, legend, and folklore begin on October 4th. Proceeds benefit the nonprofit Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation, supporting public safety and community programs. Visit frightfarm.org for more information. Or I want a ghoul just like the ghoul that married dear old dad, as I believe I said before. But not getting any funnier. <laughs> And behind them, we have the SD43 GOP, local Republican residents from Maplewood, North St. Paul, White Bear Lake, Matamidi, Birchwood, Willardy, and Oakdale. They prioritize working to create safe communities where all are allowed an opportunity to achieve. And here is Tennis Sanitation, a company I'm familiar with, uh, but I believe they're new to North St. Paul, uh, my wife informs me. It's a second generation family owned and operated trash and recycling company. Tennis has 10, 20, and 30 yard roll offs available for rent. It's excited to add the residents of North St. Paul to their list of loyal, satisfied customers. And we have St. Paul Pediatric Dentistry with three convenient locations in Oakdale, Woodbury, and St. Paul. Representing St. Paul Pediat Pediatric Dentistry are Dr. Julie Heyman, Dr. Carmen Lammeyer, Dr. Sylvia Kuehler, and their hard-working team. <laughs> Celebrating three years of happy, healthy smiles. That's right. <laughs> Gotta give you some band-aids just you. in oh, case. Thank you. That's some band-aids from the uh, pediatric, pediatric dentistry. I always thought pediatric dentists were kids, but apparently they're not. Yeah. <laughs> Four kids. <laughs> Four kids. Uh, here comes the St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty. Uh, the seniors have brought wisdom and goodwill to the festivities of the St. Paul Winter Carnival for 61 years. King Winter, Charlie Moon, uh, Queen of the Northlands, Anna Costello, and Prime Minister Michelle Nelson. Oh, and then right behind them is the Junior Royalty, uh, bringing youth and exuberance to the St. Paul Winter Carnival, the coolest celebration on earth, Princess of Snow, Sylvia, Princess of Ice, Caitlin, and Queen of the Snowflakes, Madison. Look at those lovely young ladies. They're doing the parade wave. That's right. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. <laughs> well, got you it down. You got well, it down. That's kind of an accelerated one, but... They see you doing that, you might be uh, in the parade next year waving. I'll be <laughs> stuck here by myself. And this must be the Winter Carnival Royal Family, led by King Boreas, uh, Aurora, Queen of Snows, and the Prime Minister. But once upon a time, a New York reporter quipped in an 1885 newspaper that St. Paul was another Siberia unfit for human habitation during the winter months. All right, challenge accepted. A collective of Minnesota luminaries, including James J. Hill, set out to prove that reporter wrong. And the first St. Paul Winter Carnival was born in 1886. As the longest winter festival in the nation, the carnival's history is an extraordinary blend of lore, legend, and delightfully quirky detail that could only be imagined by the denizens of a snowy, sometimes freezing paradise called St. Paul. And again, that started in 1886. 
When I first moved to Minnesota, that was one of the things I enjoyed the most was the, seeing the snow and ice sculptures and the, the Grand Day Parade and the winter the torchlight parade at the end. And, oh, Vulcans are infiltrating the... Uh, <laughs> Here come the Vulcans, yeah. Hail the Vulc. Please welcome the St. Paul Winter Carnival 2019 Vulcan crew. King Vulcanus Rex and his fiery crew defeated Boreas and his four brothers. Make sure Minnesota has nice warm summers since 1886. The men in red supporting community events throughout Minnesota are Count Embryus, Vulcanus Rex 82, the Duke of Clinker, General Flamius, and the, the Prince of Soot. Grand Duke Fertilius, Baron Hot Sparks, and Sparkus, and the Count of Ashes. <laughs> we wondered how that battle was going to turn out this year for a while with uh, all that cold weather we had. That's in right. January and month of snow and <laughs> seeming bleak for a while. Volcanus <laughs> did up ultimately prevail. And we are getting towards the end here of the parade with a North St. Paul police squad car. And we want to thank you so much for joining us at the Fall Roundup Parade 2019 in North St. Paul's historic downtown. Jay, do you have any uh, closing thoughts on this year's parade? No, I enjoyed it as always. Uh, it's, it's great to work with you again, Joe. I appreciate the chance. And uh, uh, let's hope for weather like this next year again. And it, it seems like it always goes so quickly once we get yep. started, but uh, there's always the, the promise of next year's parade and a lot of fun things going on in the community in between, too. So That's right. Uh, Jay, we want to thank you so much for giving of your time, and you did a great job again. I, I expect that you'll come armed with even more jokes and puns for next year. Well, I'll try to get better material next oh. year. <laughs> it's, don't hold your breath. Though. Okay, and uh, same goes for me, I guess, too. <laughs> but we want to thank all of you out there for watching, and if you're interested in seeing this again, uh, make sure you check our schedules at sectv.org for rebroadcast times. Once again, thanks for watching the 2019 Fall Roundup Parade.